Hi, my name is Jürgen Holland. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple way to track a scene and some camera tricks when you have been tracking. This is not solving every tracking problem. Hopefully it's solving yours, but it's a simple method. So let's add a motion tracker. I have this uh, underwater footage that I've been using for the monster video. First, I need to rise the resample. I think that's often a problem that the, the samples are too low. And then I go into the 2D tracker. And what I do here is just add as many tracks I can create tracks. And then I click auto track. Yeah, then the tracking is done and I can click play. For this track, I have I've removed some graphics, so I'm gonna remove everything around that area. So I go to lasso selection and just hit the delete. Okay, this point is still there. Okay, these are also hanging on. But let's see how the how this is working. Run 3D solver. Then in salt camera, I can see it didn't track everything, but what I need here is just uh, some camera movements. So it's not really that important. The next step is to just know where the world zero is. So uh, where every object is born. I go into the tracker and go to position constraint. And then I click one of the tracks. There's a track, and if I now create the cube, I can see that the cube is sticking into the scene. What I'm going to do now is uh, make a copy of the, uh, the camera, remove the camera tag, and of course I want to have a background, so I go into the footage and create the background. I'm going to show you how you can control the camera even though you have lots of keyframes and it's just going down to freeze transform here i can move around in the scene it's not that easy to move the camera around but i but i can do adjustments it's still tracked and i can move around the cube so if you have a monster that are supposed to be in another direction since I've created the monster in one scene and do the tracking in another then I can use this scene as is. I made a script with ChatGPT that um, can reduce the keyframes. You find it over at my site. If I go into extension and if you don't find it go into the script folder and uh, here it is, and you just add the script into the folder. And now I can run key clean reduce. I want to reduce this three times. And you can also just select everything now it's really not fitting the uh, track 100 percent but in some cases this will look much better if you only use the camera motion so that's about it thank you for checking out my tutorial and have a good day